Hey guys, welcome back to Dating Dynamics. Matt and Nick here with our latest video. Before we get into this one though, we wanted to say if you didn't check out our previous one, click the link up above here because it's all about confidence testing and you're gonna face that anytime you're flirting with an attractive high value girl, so you're gonna wanna see that. Um, otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and get into this one though. Today, we're talking all about escalation. So, what is escalation? Well, basically, escalation is just how you move that flirtatious interaction forward. So you found a girl, you're interested in her, you've been flirting and building attraction. Escalation is how you're gonna move things in a direction that you want. Absolutely, so when it comes to escalation, there is a good way to pace it, okay? Because you don't want to go from zero to 100, and you also don't wanna go about it too slowly. So the proper way to go about it is with two steps forward and one step back, okay? Why is that? Well, there's a few reasons why. First of all, it shows that you're high value. It does that because as you're willing to take that step back, you are showing interest with those steps forward, but with a step back, it's showing that you're willing to walk away. And she will be able to pick up on that. And she'll be thinking, wow, this guy, he's got things going for him if he's willing to walk away. So the second thing is that it's attractive. That one step back creates tension in the conversation. Because if it's all forward, 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 there's no tension there. And having that tension in the conversation allows her to feel attracted to you. And the third reason is that it's more comfortable for them. And if you think about it, if you're just completely forward, you know, everything's forward, then it doesn't give them much room to breathe. You're just constantly showing interest. And that can really come off as predatory or creepy. And neither of those are good, right? So uh, if you're willing to take that step back, it gives them a little breathing room. It allows them to feel more comfortable in that situation. Yep, it's gonna be a lot easier for them. And let's face it, it's gonna be easier for you too because if we're being honest, escalation is probably the most difficult and nerve wracking part of flirtation apart from just going up and, and starting that interaction. So anything you can do to make things a little easier for both of you, all the better. So what does that escalation look like? What forms does it take? Well, the first one we're gonna talk about is going to be increasing the intensity of your flirtation. So, you know, you start flirting, maybe start a little bit light, a little light tease, a little light compliment, things like that, but you're gonna need to ramp that up because the romantic tension is gonna have to be high if you're going to escalate things, right? So your compliments are gonna have to be more bold, more direct, more specific, um, as will your critiques at the same time. But more than that, you're also going to need to intensify your tone speaking maybe a little slower, a little bit lower, having more intense, prolonged eye contact at times, you know, just putting off that general feeling of something romantic's happening here, right? Um, so as you set that stage, it becomes much easier for the second one we're gonna talk about, which is physical escalation. So with physical escalation, you know, when you see a girl and you're talking to her and she seems pretty cool, you probably are already sold on the thought of kissing her. You know, you're probably thinking, that'd be pretty neat. But it seems very far away, right? Um, and it is in that interaction. If you just went straight in for a kiss, well, <laughs> you know, it'd be awkward and she would probably reject you immediately. Um, and you may end up with a little community service or something, <laughs> but hey, worth it, right, guys? Um, no, you don't wanna do that. So how do you get things to that point? Um, so you're gonna follow, once again, that two steps forward, one step back policy, right? So say you begin by, you give a little playful critique or something, oh, that's the worst thing I've ever heard, great. You know, and you kind of touch their shoulder or something and then step back. And then maybe later they do something that's really cute or charming and you, oh, you're cute, you know, and you give them like a half hug. Once again, you know, step back, but maybe you don't step back as far this time. You know, you maintain a little bit of that closeness. Well, let's say, you know, later on, 
Um, you're more comfortable with each other. Maybe you're getting ready to leave or something like that. And you're like, hey, I had a really good time tonight. It was really, it was really great, great to spend time with you. You know, and you give them a big solid hug and you hold that and they feel comfortable with it. You know, you can tell they're not nervous or anything. And all of a sudden, that kiss doesn't seem so far away, right? So that, in a nutshell, is physical escalation. Yep, for sure. And so the third and final way to escalate is through logistics. So setting up the date, you know, getting her number, figuring out a day and a, and a date, like what you're going to do. So the way that you would go about two steps forward and one step back is, well, those steps forward are you setting up the plan, suggesting things. Um, the step back is your willingness to not do certain things or not go on a certain day because that's honest, you know. You're not going to have every evening open, we would hope. <laughs> you need to have a life, right? Um, you're not going to like everything that they suggest. You might feel that something would be a waste of time. And being willing to say that and express that is that step back. And it's, so it's going to allow you planning things out to be more attractive. Because think about it. If it's just all forward, forward, steps forward, the problem there is that it comes off as, Desperate. Oh, well, I can bend over backwards. I can do any day, any activity. Uh, just, it's unattractive. And so you don't want to do that. Do it the right way. So guys, with that being said, this wraps up our basics of flirting. And you got to go out there and apply it, okay? So what you learned today, look for opportunities and just go out there and do it. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything for you. So our next videos are going to be focusing on princely attributes, okay? These are the ways that you're going to build yourself up, build your confidence. And what it's going to allow you to be is the kind of guy that a high quality woman wants to stay around past the first date and the second date, okay? So uh, we appreciate your time. Check us out on Facebook as well. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And guys, we'll see you next time.